So today I'm going to try and get a solar panel that's been sticker flexed onto the roof off the roof. Yeah, there's probably loads of techniques. I've looked at some online, some seem very strange and others seem quite practical. So I'm going to go for the use a piece of string or thread or whatever um, around the sticker flex area to cut through. So I've got three different types of thread and a bit of string and a bit of lubricant. Hey, we're misses. Um, and um, yeah, it's just a case of um, seeing which one works best. Um, it's the only sunny day for about two weeks. Uh, we're gonna have bad weather. Um, so yeah, I didn't plan to do it today, but gonna get it done today. Uh, take the solar panel off, Mevy's having this one. And then I'm gonna fit the new solar panel um, on top of the uh, new roof rack. So let's get cracking. So the reason why I'm doing it this way is because I can't actually now get to the other side of the bolts when I bolted it down. So what I actually did was attached everything, brought it up onto the roof and then stuck it down. So I now can't get my hands in there and behind the frame of this to get to the bolt on the other side of there. Those bolts have a nut on the other side and there isn't enough room for me to get under there now because there's a lip that underneath there that goes in about that far. So I can't actually get to them. So I've got to do it this way. I've got to break this seal um, to be able to get the panel off. That's the only way I can do it. So there you go, it's taken ooh, about an hour uh, to uh, cut through all six brackets and as you saw then just by cleaning up the last bit, um, again it just needs a bit of a scrub really, um, but yeah WD-40, uh, other brands of um, lubricant and cleaner and stuff are available, uh, but that cuts straight through the stuff so you can clean it off, uh, it just needs a proper clean now to get rid of the dirt that's been there for a year and a bit. Um, and yeah, something like these little tools here, um, which are kind of uh, plastic scrapers and spreaders that I got for um, when I did the vinyl wrap. So those are fantastic, really, uh, at cutting through. Because all you want to do is break the seal, and uh, once you can get that, uh, you can get your string underneath it. Um, keep fresh string so keep kind of like pulling it out so it's fresh string um, and keep uh, soaking it up in WD because that adds uh, 
basically a, you know, a bit of a lubricant to it so it cuts through better and um, yeah that was it really so what I need to do now is disconnect the cables that are underneath there so once I've done that I can get some new bolts to attach the new solar panel to these roof bars uh, and then wire it up so there we go that's the new panel as you can see it's um, considerably larger than the other one um, obviously it's um, 360 watts last one was 150 so it is far more powerful as well so fingers crossed me gonna get a lot a lot of power out of this fella um, as you can see I've got a bit of cleaning up to do which is why it slid over that way so I'm gonna clean the roof and um, the idea here is really to get some new bolts that go around there and then clamp it into the frame because I actually do have room now to get under there to put nuts on and get a spanner in there and stuff like that so it means I can strap it down using the actual frame it's got rather than any separate brackets or anything um, now the future plan I may have um, is to make it um, tiltable um, and that would mean getting some sort of like L kind of um, steel beam or something here with hinges on so the L beam is kind of like you know attached that way across here with the same U bolts I'm going to use um, and then the hinges are going to be um, you know bolted to there and here so that means it's hinged on this side um, and then from that work out some sort of gas strut system for the other side with um, catches and uh, locking pins or something like that so you pull the pins out bosh up it comes at the right angle and um, then obviously it's just a case of pulling it down now the issue with that is that's going to mean getting on the roof every time to do it um, so yeah it does mean right so if that's pushed all the way over there now on the other side then when I add it yeah if I'm going to move it back here um, I'm going to have this much space to get down that side of the uh, the solar panel to be able to do that which is probably just about enough space um, but yeah we'll have to see how that one pans out but for now it is just a case of uh, bolt it down so it doesn't move um, simply because you know uh, I've got a day to get all this done uh, before the bad weather comes in so I want to get it done as much as I can so there we go got the uh, roof all now cleaned up far better than it was anyway and um, everything's uh, looking okay down there all I need to do now is put my MC4 connections so got my kit got my wire strippers I've got my crimping tool so let's get some MC4 connections put on here um, and then I can fasten the uh, solar panel down set up I've installed something on the front of the um, <laughs> solar panel so you can see how the wind is going to affect over the top and below uh, the solar panel is mounted right at the front edge the leading edge of where the roof goes flat so this is where turbulence is going to occur and we're going to work out if we've got a downforce or an uplifting force on the solar panel by hopefully slowing down the footage and seeing which one is pinned. Is it the under, underside um, ribbon that's going to be pinned under or is the top ribbon going to be pinned under? Um, and that camera hopefully will let us know which way it's going to be. 
Let's see what happens. I might lose my camera. You never know. So that's it, job done. Um, solar panel finished off, all looking really nice and um, bolted down now. Um, just basically, like I say, uh, need to decide when I'm gonna turn it into a tilting or tiltable platform, because um, I've seen some stats on that. And um, yeah, it's quite impressive, the difference it can go from being mediocre in winter to being downright, you know, fantastic in winter. Um, so yeah, look at that one. Um, but for now, I'm sure you've got some comments about what I've done and how you could have done it better or whatever. So yeah, if anything that I've done you think I could have done better, leave a comment down below and I'll uh, I'll see if you're right. <laughs> um, but yeah, we got it done. And like I said, the, the pain was to remove the old panel and, um, and then clean everything up. Fit the new panel was quite easy really. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.